Hey, what's up everyone, Strofo, and today we're going to replace connectors on iPhone logic boards. Uh, in front of me I have iPhone 5S that needs a new connector for digitizer. You can see the connector is smushed in and you can also see how weak this connector looks like. It's just a wall of pins and these tiny pieces of plastic holding it, uh, like supporting it together. Uh, so we're going to start with this one. This is the easier one to replace. And then on iPhone 6 we have an LCD uh, connector as well. You can see it's way more beefier but somebody went ham here apparently the touch doesn't work but loads the and boots this one was not turning on and I found out uh, after checking out the shield for CPU I noticed that uh, the shield is actually bouncing and there's some cracks and uh, if I would put some pressure uh, in a certain way the phone seemed on a DC power supply like it was booting so I guess there was a hit a uh, very big hit uh, to the phone so the screen crack and then also there's some damage on the board uh, but uh, just to get it booted I need that LCD to work so I can actually start making backup so let's start with the 5S so let's remove this broken connector first I'm trying to blow away from everything else and once the solder you will be able to see it will, will just melt. Uh, the connector might also start collapsing on itself. We can just remove it by pushing it. Could just also use a soldering iron on this one. But I believe overall it's better to just use hot air. And, voila. and now I'm going to apply a little bit more flux. And use soldering iron with leaded solder. To clean up this mess here and make these nice and shiny. You can also pick up the red leftover junk. And I always try to put as much solder on the pad as possible. That uh, the more solder, the better uh, it will grab to the new connector, and you'll be able to see it being way more stronger like that and you can see there are small uh, like pillows of solder okay so here's my donor connector I don't actually have a digitizer for 5s right now So as you can see this uh, connector for 5S uh, already has some solder on their pins. Um, as you can see this is an iPhone 6 one, uh, they're, they're just bare metal on these pins. So what I like to do is apply a little bit of uh, solder that also helps uh, re-solder to the, to the board. It's kind of delicate operation so you might have to practice. Let's see how it goes. Slightly skimping the solder for the pins, so you can see that way you have a pillow on the pad, you have a small pillow on the pin, and that way it's easier to have this solder just using hot air. Okay, I think it's pretty good for one eye. Let's apply. Let's apply some fresh flux healthy dose and line up <coughs> the connector now this connector technically uh, could be just sold soldered down using just soldering iron so once you get it kind of aligned I like to tap it with soldering uh, iron I like to like solder at least two pads onto the board that way when you're using hot air it will just stay in its spot okay so you can see I did align the connector with someone aligned the connector with the pads and one way to completely solder this is you could just use your soldering iron it's a little dab of solder and you could just technically do this kind of action and just bridge the connector so now over here there's plenty of space but usually like on the six and up, it's very tight. So 
it's better off to use a hot air station and also you know if you don't have a thin enough uh, tip then you, you want to use hot air station anyway so let's use that and since we have quite a bit of um, leaded solder here on the pads we can run a little bit lower temperature that increases the chances of the plastic itself not uh, collapsing and melting you see the solder already melted I'm trying to move it a little bit. You want to inspect all the pins, if they're moving or not. Oh yeah, we're way off. <laughs> all right. Let me use both eyes. So in this case, we're going to push the connector a little bit. Oh, there you go. So after soldering the connector, I want to check on pins. Are they moving like this one? For some reason, this one didn't connect. That happens. So pretty much all you have to do is just touch it up with either with hot air or um, just tap with solder. All right, let's give this a spin. Actually check if this connector is that, ooh. And this digitizer connector isn't that great either. So let's replace it with, hmm. Let's test it with a different screen. Let's boot it up. So we have a passcode and we have touch. I don't want to show us here, but seems to be working just fine. So let's move on to the iPhone 6. I lost the audio for this part, so I'm going to voice over it. Uh, I put a coin on the CPU because I'm using the shield and I want to cool it down. And here we're going to blow the air outside the board so we don't heat anything else. And just like with the 5S, we're applying flux first, and then we're gonna use heat. Uh, you want to use the heat across the whole connector, making sure you know the heating is even across the board. And then eventually you'll see the solder melting on, on the pads, and that's when you're going to just pull on the connector and just slide it off. Okay, and after that you wanna put fresh flux and uh, apply leaded solder on the pads and uh, align your new connector uh, I like to put it on the side and looking for the microscope and uh, just align those pads I mean the connector with the pads underneath uh, and then uh, you can use your soldering iron to just tap a few pads and connect them to the connector that way when you're heating with the hot air it's not like flying out and stays aligned And then we're going to add fresh flux and again heat it um, because you have lighted solder on the pads you can use lower temperature that helps not to melt that plastic too hard and then also once you see the solder melted on the pads you can tap it with the tweezers uh, making sure that the pins are actually contacted with the pads and then just make sure everything is connected the same way of soldering the connectors on iPhones it's pretty much all the same have the same similar structure you just have to be careful from time to time to let's see like on an iPhone 7 over here uh, I just replaced this uh, front facing camera uh, connector and the connector is next to the uh, CPU so you know you want to you don't want to overheat the rest of, around it this one came out really nice though and everything over here works so that's all for this video i hope you liked it hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you later in the next video oh by the way i'm